Welcome back, everyone, to Recruiting Thursday here on the Westmoreland Sports Network. Jack Rodner with you all, and today I'm joined by current kicker and punter for the Norwin football team and recent University of Akron football commit, Joey Castle. Joey, great to get you on the show today, my friend. First off, big congratulations to you on the commitment. How does it feel to make this decision? Uh, it feels great. I mean, I've been waiting for a while, trying to pick between two schools, and it was definitely the right choice. So what made you ultimately settle on Akron? Uh, I've been talking to the coach for a couple months, like four months, and visiting there and meeting the coach. He's, he's a great coach. He's really, we built a great relationship, and I love the university. I love everything about it. That's awesome, my friend. Well, again, big congratulations to you. A very, very exciting thing for you. Now, I just want to kind of just briefly touch on the recruiting process because I'm sure for you, especially early on in your high school career with COVID, that probably had a big impact for you in recruiting. What was this whole recruiting process like for you from start to finish? I mean, it was it was definitely slow. I I didn't originally I wasn't sure what I was gonna go to college for. I didn't know if I wanted to play football. Then once I started taking it seriously during the camps and stuff. After COVID, it started to pick back up and got the in communication with a couple of different coaches. So in terms of just being, uh, you know, getting recruited as a kicker and whatnot, are there anything, anything that is kind of unique to being recruited as a kicker? I mean, is there anything that you're having to do that's different from guys that are playing other positions and are looking to be recruited at other positions? I mean, what was unique for you as a kicker being recruited? I mean, it was definitely different. Uh, they normally say kickers, punters, snappers are last. And uh, so you just kind of have to wait for the process. Luckily, I got I started talking to the African coach earlier. Normally, it's a little bit later. But, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a big difference between being, like, a receiver, like one of my friends being recruited versus it's just a completely different process of how you go, even when you go to visits, talking to coaches, you just got to kind of hope that like they like you and talk to you throughout the game and stuff. Do you feel that it might give some added pressure to you as a player because you, you kind of maybe the, the margin of error is that much smaller for you? Um. Yes. Yes, I would say uh, it's definitely definitely a lot of pressure with you know, a lot of different aspects. Well, I've always had a lot of respect for for guys that are kickers, punters, and just being able to do that because, like you said, it's you know very stressful. It's it's a lot of you know huge anticipating moments, and uh, at times, you know, you, what you do out on the field is the difference between winning and losing. Really, I mean, it sometimes comes down to that one final kick or whatever it might be. But I know that you started out as a soccer player, then you eventually got into football. What got you interested in wanting to pick up football? I actually, well, I played soccer my whole life, and I. A lot of my friends played football. They convinced me to play football my freshman year just for fun. And then I went to a couple practices, and eventually the head coach let me know I, I had to kick Friday nights. It's like, oh, this is serious. So uh, as I just I enjoyed the, the thrill of, in the games. I started to just pick it up, like it a lot more. Ended up putting away soccer and focusing on football, and it became my true passion. Was it hard to put soccer kind of in the past? Yes, yeah, so it was a really big decision. Uh, I was torn for months. I wasn't sure what to do, but the right decision was football. Now, when you picked up football, had you thought about maybe doing a different position? I mean, were you kind of tired of the whole kicking thing? Um, I, I used to think about playing a different position, but I, I just kind of enjoyed kicking so much and everything about it, technique and just watching people in the NFL that I just stuck with that. Well, I have to say, I think it's such a, it's an interesting and unique position because you're watching, like you said, guys do something that is totally different from, you know, how a receiver does it running and catching or a quarterback throwing. I mean, you're the only one that's on the field that's kicking the ball, really. I mean, if you think about it, everyone else has an opportunity to either catch, pass, run, whatever. You're the only one that's kicking. Now, at what point did you kind of realize, hey, I'm pretty good at this kicking thing. I mean, this is, uh, this is no joke here. I started going to Hammer Kicking Academy. It's he has like camps, like Eastern camps. You go to them, and he he said he saw potential in me, and that's what really like made me realize I uh, thought I had a chance. And he helped me. I trained with him for it's been like two years now, and he just helped been helping me grow as a person and in kicking. So, who are some kickers that you like to to watch, maybe in the NFL or, or guys that growing up you were a big fan of? Um, I never really watched kickers when I was younger, but now, even like 
being able to see them kick live at like national camps that I've went to. Jake Camerda, who got drafted, he was from Georgia, and uh, I mean, there's a couple. I mean, obviously Justin Tucker, he's crazy to watch. So now I have to say though, Justin Tucker on the Ravens, Steelers country, that's got to give some people probably not the greatest, uh, not the greatest impression, right? Yeah, I mean, I also like to watch Chris Boswell, of course, but it's it's different in the kicking world. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, it was smart for you to, to sneak that one in there. Uh, but no, I mean, Justin Tucker is, you know, one of the greats of all time. And I think if you want to, you know, emulate yourself and your game after that, I think that's the exact person that, that you should be watching. Now, what is what does practice typically look like for you? I think personally, for me, I've always been curious, just what does practice look like for a kicker and punter? Kind of the same thing with, you know, a relief pitcher in baseball. What does practice look like? So what is practice typically like for you? I mean, we have we have our special teams normally at the beginning or the middle or in the middle to end for 10, 15 minutes. It's not a lot. So everyone's always saying about how I'm not doing anything, but I'll, uh, I'll just do like technique and stuff the whole practice until we actually do our special teams, which is only like 10, 15 minutes in two sections. So it's not a lot, but definitely a lot of pressure on Friday. Oh, I'm sure. And I, uh, but I, I have to say it probably gets you very, very juiced up to, to go out on Friday night because Hey, those 10, 15 minutes in practice, like I said, that those are important 10 or 15 minutes in practice. Do you ever feel that it's almost maybe a disconnect that you have between you and your teammates since you're kind of off to the side, or, or have you ever, never really felt that? Uh, not really. I'm, I'm always talking to all the guys on the sideline and stuff and everyone in, switching and out, so... Really. Well, that's great. That's great. I think that that would be one thing that I've always been kind of, you know, maybe worried about is, is do kickers kind of feel almost left out? You know, they're not out there catching anything, throwing anything or anything. They're just simply kicking. But again, I, I'm not going to lie. I have this weird and this is just a little sidebar comment, but I've always want I've never done this. I've always wanted to go kick a field goal. I've never tried it. I've never attempted it. I'm sure it's very challenging for somebody like myself who's going to go out on a field and try and not look like a total idiot. What would be some advice you would give to, to a novice kicker and say, this is what you need to do? I mean, I'd, I'd probably just start off with like steps, getting your st- like back up three steps, two steps over, get comfortable and just, I mean, if you don't really know the technique, you just gotta, just gotta go for it almost. Now, is, is, is that kind of how you were introduced to, to kicking or was it a pretty easy switch from soccer over to football? Uh, well, I had a very soccer swing originally for field goals. And so, I mean, it was a big difference. It just after you do it, you go back, you take videos, you watch your technique, you change things as you do it, and they just keep changing from there. So what was it in your, in your, in your motion that was a little bit different before coming from soccer? I mean, what, what is kind of the giveaway of, of a, a soccer swing? I mean, it's a lot of like swinging across your body and how your foot, like the angle on your foot when you hit the ball. So I just fixed that, and ever since then, it's been better. Very fascinating. Well, I, I, uh, I have to say I'm learning quite a bit about the kicking position, so this is great. You need to start your own kicking school, my friend. This would be uh, very, very interesting. But I know we'll, we'll stay in the here and now because you guys have a big game on Friday against Franklin Regional, looking to kind of get something going here in conference play. What's going to be key for you guys to pull a win out in that matchup? And then what's going to be also important for you guys to improve upon from last week to this week? I mean, I think just a lot of momentum, you know, all the all the guys get them excited for the game and I mean we've had some good practices this week. We look pretty good right now. We do have uh our DN Noah Vogel, he's out this week, which is gonna be a it's a change, but we're working around it and I think we look pretty good overall this week. Very great, man. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, very excited for that matchup. I believe we'll be covering it on the network, so very excited for that one. Really appreciate your time today. Before I let you run, I just want to hear from you. In general, what are you most excited for when you head off to college? I mean, it can be football, non-football. Just in general, what are you most excited for when you go off to school? I mean, I'm obviously very excited for football to just have the experience in that, but I'm also excited. My, I'm going to major in exercise science, and it's just something I've always been interested in. So... Very cool. Well, hey, listen, good luck this Friday and good luck the rest of the season. And again, congratulations on the big commitment and good luck at Akron. Thank you.